These trucks for the motorized newer units are designed for the width of the units and the length can be up to three feet long compounded and joined together to make longer units. This DL400 the width of the large wheels are 7 and 1 16th wide. The rabbits here and here for the front wheels are inside measurement is 3 and 7 eighths. This allows free movement for the unit back and forward whether manual or powered up. This unit is about five and a half inches wide and this is the saw cuts on the table saw are equivalent to the depth of the rubbers and the width between these two wheels. This unit is very similar but the saw cuts are wider to the whole width of the wheel and about 3 sixteenths deep. This is deep enough to stop the metal fouling the top of the track. The DL400s has an upstand on each edge. This upstand is about a quarter inches high and guides the back motor wheels. This one here has a saw cut on the table saw on each side about an eighth of an inch deep and space the width of the wheels between this one and that one. This one is motorized and can be used manually too along the track. This one is also motorized and the track is a little bit wider to correspond with the width of the wheel but it has to be about a quarter deep no more than a dot than a quarter because the metal will foul the top of the track. All tracks has a stop on each end, here, here and here and there. This will stop if you make a mistake with the automatic motor, it stops it running off the edge. All tracks can be raised to approximately 35 degrees and it will climb if you adjust the rate of climb on the motors.
the DL400 track is about three feet long, compound together and joint with a tongue and groove will be an overall length of six feet six. Accordingly, the other two tracks can be joined together the same way. For the newer DL200 and the DL300, just adjust the sizes accordingly to the width of the wheels.